Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode four of Ragbri. In this episode, you'll see a lot of Amelia, Connor, the kid on a unicycle, Danny not surfing, me getting thrown off a mechanical bull, a dude cradling a cute little dog, escaping into a beer cooler, other Danny on his penny farthing, water slides, water slides, and of course, lots of wonderful humans. Let's do it. Was it just a dream or is Amelia really here? <laughs> I was brilliant enough to come. Yeah, you were. Ragbri uh -huh. is awesome. It, 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 it is. And, uh, you know, I didn't really know if I was going to be able to make it out. Um, wasn't sure how my body was going to hold up. So yeah, why is that? So I ran a hundred miler this past weekend. Uh, so last Saturday, I ran a hundred miles through the Cascades in Washington. And I flew back on Sunday to Colorado and then got all my stuff together. And I am here now. Hobbling right around. On. Yeah. You got, what place did you get in the race? I got second. Right on. Dos. But eighth overall. You beat all the boys I beat pretty much. All the boys. Good morning, Connor. How are you feeling today? I feel great. Uh, I slept like a champ. Uh, my watch is telling me that my readiness is poor. So I'm ready to fire it up today <laughs> for uh, 89 on the road. What's up with this little, little finger? I broke my pinky finger like a few weeks ago so I have to keep it splinted oh look at that little guy <laughs> I just want you to know that this 100% cotton team doozer shirt still smells like roses you want to know why because I keep jumping in water ta-da don't I smell good everybody yes yes what's this stretch this is called the roll your butt on a ball stretch. Mm. Gotta get those legs one. limbered up. Gotta, gotta get the leg, gotta get the legs uh, limbered up. I'm still kind of limping around from this past weekend, so. What are you doing over there, Connor? I mean, normally this wouldn't fly, but I feel at <laughs> Ragbri, people know what I'm doing. Sometimes you just gotta get all the way in there, make sure you're safe for the day, you know? Safety first. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's not a pleasurable experience whatsoever but I'm doing it <laughs> high five oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 oh I think they're calling for a hundred degrees today is that right hundred degrees today hundred degrees hundred degrees sure. let's do it triple digits I think the hottest day in Iowa so far and we're lucky to be riding on the roads of Iowa for what 82 miles 80, uh, 82 sounds good 82 sounds good whatever it is it doesn't matter we're doing it you two get some morning coffee yes sir right on Get that coffee. Let's go ride bikes. Let's go ride bikes. With these people right here. You want to know another thing I always try to find at a campsite? Close proximity to the porta potties, or as they call them here in Iowa, the Kaibo. I don't know why they call it that, but I like it. Kaibo. Do you know what kind of bug that is? It's a cicada. They're like the most hit. They're so ugly. <laughs> but like they the make such a pretty noise. Oh, they make a noise like, um, yeah, yeah. So Amelia is riding the 600X, the best bike in the history of the world. Woo! It is. And I'm riding the 600, which is also the best bike in the history of the world. Woo! And over here, Connor is riding the original prototype Whoa. of the Apollo. Also the best bike in the world. Yep. Oh. Always feels a little tender when you get on the bike for the first thing in the morning. Yeah, Woo! Yeah, yeah. Here's all of our friends. Look! Good morning, everybody! Good morning! Good morning. Riders on! Riders on! Amelia is here! What up? Oh my god! Ah. <laughs> Let's go have the best day ever. What do you say? Best day ever! Best day ever. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies! Oh yeah, there he is. How you doing, my friend? Pretty good. Not horrible, but... Not horrible. Not the best. Not the best? You got this, my friend. Thank you. You're amazing. You're amazing! Unicycling the whole thing. I'm so glad I run into them every day. Here comes the sun, doo-doo-doo. 
It is 6.54 a.m. I think this is our earliest start and we are towards the back of Ragbri. Everybody, everybody's waking up early because it's hot and they're freaked out. But not us, we like it hot. Amelia just reminded me that it's Thursday, so happy Thursday, everybody. You know, when I'm out here on Rag Rye, I have no idea what day it is. I have no idea what's going on in the world. Cell phones barely work. I'm not watching TV. This is just Rag Rye world where you wake up and you ride bikes every day and everybody else is in the same boat, the same bicycle boat. And it's kind of fun to have this shared mission, shared goal where we're all in on it. Ah, oh, that was epic, woo. And it's time for little Casey's breakfast pizza. Yo, Connor, have you ever had breakfast pizza? Um, I, I can't say that I have, but it's changed my life. Yeah, it's good. I think it's gonna become a staple. So, um, so good. I love it, and um, just the right amount of salt for today. Yeah. Let's fire it up. Thank you, Casey's. Once again, you are awesome. You're 20 miles in. How do you feel? Woo! Pretty good. How's the body holding up? Um, hips a little bit iffy, but it feels better biking than walking. So keep biking. All right, let's keep biking. Yeah. Are you really 97? I am. Wow, that's amazing. You're an inspiration. Thank you. And what's your name? Clarence. Clarence, nice to meet you. Yeah. Wow. I want to be like you someday. And we are finally back out on the quiet country roads. The last 20 miles of yesterday and the first 10 miles of today, we were you know, not in the country. A lot of suburbia, a lot of buildings, a lot of houses. So it's kind of nice to be back out here in the peace and quiet. Hey, Amelia, feel good to be back? It does. It's amazing. I forgot how much fun this is. And just good times all day long, just pedaling. Just pedaling. Just pedaling. All we gotta do is pedal. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! How old are you? 30! Yay! Have a good ride! You too! Oh god! Ah! Oh yeah! Here comes Connor! Oh, good job, buddy! Let's do this! Yeehaw! S A C! <laughs> Boom! Nice job! Uh, I'm gonna throw up now. Look at this. What a cute. Do you ride with her like this the whole way? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, she rides me to work like this. I work at the running store. We go in and hang out. And, yep. <laughs> She's what having a, a ball. Hi, Daisy. Hi. Yeah. And she's just kind of cradled in your arms. Yep. It got a leash on her just in case, like a seatbelt, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. I love it. You guys have a good rag rat. You bet. No whammies. No, no whammies. No whammies. You know what I'm grateful for right now? These clouds. They are protecting us a bit from that hot sun. Pork smoke. <laughs> okay, I want to get horny. How do we do that? Get some helmet flare. Helmet flare. That's my buddy Sean from formerly Boulder, and he's gonna put some horns on my helmet. We're based out of Lawrence, Kansas. We manufacture our product in Dayton, Ohio, and we've got a patent on this. So our mission is to increase helmet use by making them more awesome. 
Put it on. Oh, yeah. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. Awesome there, dude. Check it out. I got my horns. Thank you so much. High five. <laughs> got Ooh, you. High five. Helmet flare in the house. <laughs> All right, Amelia, you're 40 miles in. How's Woo! the body? You know, it feels better with every mile. So the key is just to keep riding. Connor, how you doing, bud? I'm great, man. Learning something uh, with every mile that passes. Learning to drink a little bit earlier than I think. Learning to eat more than I think. And so we're just taking it easy. It's gonna be the hottest day, but I think it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. It's time to go to Casey's. And on this specific Casey's run, I want to find the beer cooler. That's this is the job. best part about Casey's. Thank you. Uh, yeah, all day, man. All day. This is the beer cooler. Oh my God. Ah. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> You're steaming. I am. Oh, this feels so good. It's incredible. Yeah. We just walked into the Arctic. I love the steam coming off of it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, go, on, go in there. It's worth it. Oh, thank you, Casey's. You're amazing. Oh God, it's so hot out here. It's the complete opposite of the beer cooler. So a lot of my best ragbri interactions happen in the Casey's parking lot, and I just met this wonderful family. How you doing? Hello. Hey. Hi. So, so tell me the story. Well, we are from Michigan, and we decided to uh, take the family of six on ragbri this year. Uh, and uh, one of the goals was to break, uh, break all of us from our, our luxuries of living in a home and with you know, showers and bathrooms and nice beds and uh, get, get everyone away from uh, the iPads and the iPhones and, and the computers and, and really interact with people for, the, for seven straight days. Right on, and how are you doing? Are you loving it? Yeah! What do you love the most? I love the people and the pools and slip and slides. The slip and slides, I love the slip and slides too. And we have a birthday boy yeah, right man. here. Yeah, man, 16. Birthday. Yeah. You're yeah. never going to forget this birthday. No, huh? not at all. No, it's a great all. time. Well, we love biking together as a family and we love camping. So we, we put it together and we, we're just doing it. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Have a yeah. great Thank day. Thank you. Have great meeting you. Have a happy birthday. Thank you, Thank you man. Yeah. See you later. So there are some definite heroes out here on Ragbri, and I'm standing next to one. He's part of the Air Force team. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. This has been wonderful. I've uh, been fixing a lot of flats, fixing a lot of uh, tires, wheels, uh, <laughs> chains. So uh, what do you do as the Air Force team? What's your mission here on Ragbri? Well, uh, we support the riders. We make sure that uh, if they go down, if they need medical attention, we stay with them. We, we direct traffic and block traffic to make sure they're safe. Um, and we just, we fix flats, we fix uh, whatever, uh, whatever anybody needs. I, I carry around practically a mobile bike shop here, so uh, we've been able to get, I've been able to use most of the tools that we have and it's just been a blast. And, and how many of you are out here? There's 177 riders and 16 support personnel out here with the Air Force team this year. So we're quite a troop. We fill up a huge camping area. And, uh, How long have you been doing this? How long has the team been doing this? The, the team has been doing this uh, somewhere close to 27 or 28 years. This is my first, my first year with the Rag Bride, my first year with the team. So, yeah. How does I'm, it feel? It feels wonderful. It's been great. The, uh, you know, in your videos, you talk about the, uh, the Iowa. Iowa uh, Nice. The Iowa Nice. And it's just, it's all of that and more. And you just got to come out and experience it. So how does it feel to ride your bike 50 miles after running 100 miles? Oh, I've had better ideas in life. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> I uh, also picked a terrible day to start given all these hills, which is kind of sad coming from a girl from Colorado, but they're adding up. Everybody says this is the hardest day this year. <laughs> yeah, man, it's hard. It's hard, there's no doubt it's hard. Especially, I mean, after I run 100 miles, I don't do anything for a few weeks. So you're a champ. You were the one encouraging me to come out. <laughs> it's my fault. I'll take it. There's Danny again. What's up, buddy? Hey, I am. How you guys doing? How's life? Good. It's good. Yeah, what's it like to ride this so many miles? Um, it's just a long ride. You know, the hills are brutal. I'm, I'm from Florida, so it's flat. So it's, uh, but it's fun going down. <laughs> Oh. 
You know, you can be feeling tired and sluggish and hot and just uncomfortable, but once you hit that water and you submerge your body, or maybe not even submerge, you get a little sprinkler, it just makes the whole world better. It really does. <laughs> I feel like a million bucks right now. It'll probably change in about 45 seconds, but right now, I'm psyched. Hey, look who I found, it's Danny. Yo. What's up? Taking it one pedal at a time for real today. <laughs> Woo. We are cruising into Grinnell Woo. and straight in front of us is the town pool. You know where we're going. Hail. There it is, look at that slide. Look at the view up here. That's the slide we're gonna do. It looks like a pretty much straight drop. Are you going first or what? Uh, no, you go first. Or oh, wait, I don't I want to. First. You I, go first, ladies first. first. Here we go, here we go. Boom. Rag Bri really is about riding from pool to pool. And if you do that, you're gonna be pretty comfortable and happy. I ran into a dream teamer. They are awesome. What's your name? I'm Drake Winters from the dream team. This is my third year. My third rag bri on the dream team. Right on. And how does the program work? <laughs> um, it's a youth rag bri team. So we basically train for rag bri. Um, we train for five months. We start in March. It's like we are sponsored by rag bri, the Des Moines Register, Bike World, and the YMCA. Cool. So our first month, which we start in March, is all indoor training at the Y, and we get in there for free. We run completely off donations, so even when we get to Rag Bri, the youth don't have to pay for anything. That's great. What do you love most about it? Oh, I love the food, and the people on the Dream Team are some of the best you'll meet. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. How long have you been riding bicycles? I actually did not know how to ride a bicycle before I got onto the Dream Team. And now you're loving it. Yeah, That's I love rag ride. You know, on my first year, I was, the training was hard. It was very, very hard. I got close to quitting several times, more than I could probably count on my fingers. But as soon as I got to rag ride, I realized this is what the training is for because I love rag ride. <laughs> yeah. You are awesome. It's here for the dream team. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so cool. World's fastest Ole. Here we go. Oh. Ole. <laughs> I'm hanging out with my new friend Charlene here. Woo, we are just woo. we're just struggling up these hills. How you we doing? I'm tired as hell. Can I say hell? Yeah, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> You're all good. Yeah. How's today been? Uh, rough. But glad the sun is down and uh, we're almost done. Yeah. Damn it. What brought you out here? <sighs> My crazy friend from Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right yeah. on. What do you love most about Ragbri? Oh, the people have been awesome. Islands know how to blow out, throw out the red carpet. It's been a great trip. However, I don't like sleeping in a tent. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry for interviewing on a steep <laughs> hill. My bad, but you are awesome, Charlene. Thank you. You're doing it. We're Do almost this. there. Yeah. yeah, bud. We're almost there. Almost there, man. We're Let's almost try. there. We got this. Come on. Woo! Yeah. Go, go team, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> everybody's, go. everybody's usually always pretty psyched on Rag Bri. All you got to do is whoop and holler a little bit, and everybody else starts whooping and hollering. My kind of people, even at mile 75. I keep on trying to catch up with Jack, but he's too fast. Jack, what's going on? You got rocket legs. Yeah. No problem, huh? Mm -hmm. No problem. No problem. And he smiles the whole time. Love this little dude. Go, Jack, go. Amelia, we made it. We made it. Tatama Toledo, 89 miles. Toledo. Whee! Yeah! Hey, how you doing, buddy? All right. 
It's Amelia Vision time. Ryan doesn't know I'm taking his camera and filming. Um, okay, there's a lot of stuff going on around here, especially this guy who's gonna. This could be my favorite part of Rag Rai, which are the pools at the end of a long day. It's like the most fun part for sure. Oh, look who I found. It's my man, Jaden Knuckles. Oh, too slow. Look, we're having a steamy picnic here. Everybody's having a great time. Woo. Eating all sorts of fruit. You know, this is hard to get on rag by fruit and vegetables. <laughs> and we were lucky enough to have a very supportive Group. SAG mama getting us all the goods from the grocery store. Thank you. This has been epic. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's been a good bonding experience with them and a lot of great memories. Uh, stopping at the stops and doing splash pads, doing, you know, getting pie, eating together. Uh, you really cherish those moments because they're not going to be little, you know, long. Uh, Jaden, he's still really cute and I don't know if he'll be cute at 20. So, <laughs> So I gotta enjoy it. You gotta enjoy it now. Enjoy your family. Get out there and uh, don't wait. Because uh, if you let life and work and every other competing priority get in the way, you blink and it's gone. And I saw that with my older kids, unfortunately. I've got you know four older kids, 25 through 18, and I wish I would have had a different mindset to capture that with them. And we've got some memories. But I mean, this is just really something special, and uh, you you can't you can't beat it. It feels amazing. Like <clears throat> I just think it's one of those things that people, most people, don't know that this exists. They don't know how big the community is and how important it is for these towns and the people and how everybody comes out. I mean, if this if Ragbri Ragbri rolls through your town, I mean, it's one of the biggest days of the year, and so to be a part of that is tremendous and. Even as hard as the riding portion is, like, you're never alone through it. Um, you find community everywhere. You find little things that you haven't seen. People are so welcoming. Uh, and so it's just been amazing. Like, um, I'd say that my body is tired, but for sure, like, my spirit is very full from this. And so I think as soon as I, f I forget a few things, particularly the way some of the hills feel, no joke, there are hills in Iowa. As soon as I forget that, um, I will be looking at this with nothing but amazing memories. And I'm gonna be excited to do it next year and excited to get more of the team out here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. How's it going, Amelia? I'm good. I'm just gonna brush my teeth. Oh yeah, how was your day? Um, it was the hardest day I've had on Ragbri. I mean, it was the only day this year, but like compared to last year, it was much harder. And I don't know if that's having 100 miles on my legs. I can guarantee that's a big part of it. Um, I'm also blinding people um, and or the heat or whatnot. But yeah, it was a, it was a tough day. So had some low moments, but uh, made it through. So yeah. Well, good work. Thank you. Yay. Bam. Ooh, scary. Oh. Where did Chase go? I don't know. Hey there. So first of all, thank you so much for watching this video. And second, do you want to join Team Doozer at next year's RAGBRAI 2024? I promise lots of olays and good times and high fives. And as you can see, we are very inclusive of all ages and all abilities. We're all about fun. We're actually just a big bunch of dorks, kind of like Revenge of the Nerds style on bikes. So if you want to join our team, go to the RAGBRAI website, sign up for RAGBRAI like you normally would, and there's a drop-down menu to choose your team and choose Team Doozer. And then from there, we will be giving you some more information here in the upcoming weeks and months about how we're all going to stick together this year and all camp together as one family with some sort of a charter organization. So go sign up. We'll see you next summer, and it's going to be so much fun. And also, don't forget, it's time to get off your couch, get out there, and start training.